Macros in MEditor are scripts that automate tasks, turning repetitive, time-consuming actions into a single button press. Let me show you how I used a macro to make my work much easier. In this example database, there are fields for name, phone number, and email address. I want to add a line under each phone number indicating the country it belongs to. To accomplish this, I created a macro script. To run it, I open the document, click the Run Macro button, and as you can see, a new line appears showing the country. Macros allow you to perform complex tasks that built-in commands may not be able to handle. You can start making your first macro by clicking the red record button to start recording a macro. Perform the actions you want to automate and click the red button again to stop. For instance, I want to convert this example database into a CSV format where each row contains the name, phone number, country, and email address. I will first click on the red Start Recording button. In my macro, I want to first move the cursor to the end of the line, press comma, delete, and then repeat again for the next field. Then I want to remove the extra new line below this line by pressing delete. Now I will start the next line by pressing down, then start. I can finish this recording by clicking on stop recording. To see the macro that was created, I click on edit macro. In this dialog, I can select between JavaScript or VB script to write this macro. I will select JavaScript. This is the macro that was just recorded. I'm going to save this to my computer as a .jsee file. To see what the macro does, I will first undo all changes. With my macro file open, I go to Macros, select this. This makes it so that when I click on the green Run Macro button, the macro runs. As you can see, the macro processed the first row. Now I want to make it so that the macro loops over each line in this file. I create a while loop to repeat the script for each line. Here, I add an if statement with my end condition. How will I know when to exit? If the current line number of my cursor is equal to the number of lines in the file, then I know that we have reached the bottom of the file. I can get the current line number with document.selection.getActivePointY. The number of lines in the file can be retrieved with document.getLines. Let's see if the macro will work. As you can see, the macro has processed every line in the original file. Macros can be accessed from the Macros menu or toolbar. To display the toolbar, right-click on a toolbar and enable the Macros toolbar. You'll find several built-in macros like the AI macro, which offers helpful features such as translating text into different languages. In the Customize Macros dialog, you can further personalize your macro experience. On the My Macros tab, you can add, remove, and reorder macros, and even set them to run on specific events, like when a document changes. For example, I have a macro that counts the number of words in my document and shows the word count output in the status bar. By enabling run at events and setting the event to changed, the macro will run automatically each time you type a character. In the Options tab, you can tweak macro behavior, such as adding new macros to My Macros automatically. You can also choose to run macros asynchronously, which allows them to run on a separate thread, 
so you can stop them mid-execution if needed. Unchecking this box so that they run synchronously may slightly improve the speed of macros. MEditor also gives you the option to use the V8 JavaScript engine for the newer ECMA script syntax, or you can choose the older JScript engine. You can also choose between JavaScript or VB script. You can change the default folder for macros. This folder is the default folder for the save macro or select macro commands. Another way to record your macro is through the edit repeat steps dialog window. You can optionally uncheck show repeat steps only, then select the number of steps. The generated macro will be displayed on the right, which you can copy or save macro. If you want to run your macro on several documents, you can edit your macro to add a loop which opens each document and runs the commands. There is another easy way to run a macro for several documents using the run with temporary options in the macros menu. Select your macro, then enable run the macro against each open document and add your documents. You can also use file advanced open to achieve the same result. Another helpful option in macro temporary options is to repeat the macro for a given number of times. It can be useful to assign a keyboard shortcut to run a macro. To do this, you can use the Keyboard Properties page in Tools, Properties for Current Configuration or All Configurations. Under the My Macros category, set the command to your macro. Then click in the field underneath, type in your new shortcut and assign it. If I press the keyboard shortcut, the macro runs. For more information on the JavaScript syntax used in macros, check out the linked video once it's published. The source codes for the macros I've demonstrated are also available in the description. MEditor's macro feature allows you to automate your workflow and boost productivity. Download MEditor for free at meditor.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. My name is Makoto. Thanks for watching and happy editing.